<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today you'll learn a very important lesson. Asian Chinese yen doesn't work in the United States. Actually, any foreign currency doesn't work and only in, oh, it's only worth as much as it is in their country of origin. Now, there are some people who might say that that's, there might be some people that say, well, some people might say, what about people accidentally accepting North American Canadian quarters? As I mentioned, or tried to mention yesterday, the North American Canadian quarter looks pretty much uh, similar to the North American American quarter. So some people not paying attention will accept it by accident. But mostly people are usually on the ball. Now, you know, Jordan said you find out really quickly that the current, that uh, you're going to find out, at least I find out, that if you try to do this, one or two things ends up happening. Well, it'll be 20, that'll be 23.50. And I got two, I got 200 bill, two dollar bills, 200 bills here. That, wait a minute, that's not North American, American money. I think that's Asian, Chinese, yen, or Asian, Taiwanese, yen, one or two. Now, some people are going to then, some people will question, what are you doing with foreign money anyway? Now, if you would do this at, I don't know, let's say at a bank or a credit union or a loan union, or they'd probably turn you away too because they, because that money is foreign. Now, if you would do it at an airport or other places, then people might start questioning either your local, county, or state residentship or your country's citizenship. And trust me, Jordan said, I don't feel like pulling out my driver identification, phone identification, and my library card, and my, and my multiple Vantage cards to multiple gas stations and grocery stores, just to, and my birth certificate, just to verify that I am a citizen of the United States. Now, regardless of that, Jordan says, or other people, or this might happen, Wait a minute, that money's not real. Yes, it is. Oh, it might be real, all right, but it ain't, it ain't North American American dollars. It's not North American American money, so I can't accept it. Plus, I can't even read what it says. The only thing I read on the back was the Central Bank of China. How did you even get Asian Chinese yen in the first place? So that's usually probably what really happens in real life. You know, now some people might say, how does plain money not get mistaken for actual real money? Or yen, or pesos, or whatever term you call you, or pounds. Usually because there is a, usually a federal seal, or imperial seal, or royal seal, whatever, on it. And there's usually, it's usually sig the signature from the head of the treasury usually signs off on it. So that's usually how that, that's usually how you know, it usually says the Federal Reserve System on it. So that's usually how people can separate real money from fake money. But don't try it, Jordan said. It didn't work. I'm Jordan, I'll see you later.